Hey now friends, it's me Lola. So real cool thing, I discovered something cool with Splice. Splice is an app you can use to edit videos on your mobile device and I'm just editing a video on my phone. So first things first, you can add automatic captions to your videos now. So if you notice, there's a menu button down there at the bottom. Let me get it off of a funny place on the screen. Anyways, all of them are funny. There's a menu button at the bottom of the screen. You see it says media, text, effects, music, and captions. <laughs> if you tap on captions, it's going to make captions for you. Now, I have two sets of captions, which, of course, I don't need because I already had one on there. Now, the captions are cool. If you need to edit them, what you'll just do is either tap on the actual caption on the screen and when you tap on the actual caption on the screen, it will bring you in to edit the caption. Or you can tap on that blue bar that says captions. When you tap on that and then tap on it a second time, you can hit edit and actually update your captions from there. Something really cool that I just discovered. Let me go and take that out because I don't want that on there. Something else is really cool that I just just discovered is you can see how this content will look on social media. So like Instagram is what I have this formatted for. And when I say formatted, I have it size for Instagram. So if I go over here and tap on my caption, if I tap on my caption and I go to move the caption, you see as I long press on that caption and go to move it on the screen, it's giving me a light overlay of what it'll look like on Instagram. So this way, I know not to bring something too low where it could be out of people's line of sight. So I thought that was cool. If you need to change some of these captions and maybe move them into another area on the screen, or maybe they started at the timestamp that you didn't want, you can do that. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One, you can just tap on the blue bar to get back to the edit option for the caption or either tap on the text on the screen to get back to that same place. Once you do that, you can go in and manipulate things this way. So if I wanted to keep Hey Now on the screen longer, I would just copy and paste it like so. And once I do that, it's going to be on that screen longer. Hey now, friends, it's me, Lola. You see so it? should you? Okay, so it's there longer. Let's go in and take that off. And let's go in and do something different. So we can also actually move the time, not the time, we can move the text over a bit if maybe it comes in too early or maybe it's staying on the screen too late. And the way we do that is to just get back to that edit option for the captions. And you've already seen the two ways to do that. You can tap on the blue captions bar to get to it, or either you can tap on the text on the screen and hit convert to text in that bottom menu bar. So you see at the bottom, it says edit, color, font, background, convert to text. If you hit convert to text, it takes all of the captions and makes them their own individual text boxes. And then you can go in and change these. So if I needed to move, but having a bio link does not over just a little bit, then what I can do is do a long press on it and move it, okay? And I just did that by doing a long press on the arrow on the left side. You can also do a long press on the arrow on the right side and move that over too. If you need to move this box over completely and slide it on the screen, you can just do a long press on the box like in the middle and move it. You see? Okay. All right. Have fun with it. Bye.